So here's my next repair job we're going to get started on. This is part of a uh, this is part of a pump, and this housing has been has been repaired once before. It's done been busted and repaired, and now it's cracked again and broken out. And customer said that they have had a difficult time trying to find this part. They cannot find it, can't replace it. They asked, is there any way that I can fix it? Uh, our only other option is if we can't fix this is to actually make one so we're trying to avoid having to make one so I think that I can provide a uh, suitable repair on this so that's what we're going to shoot for and you can see there's the well that's cracked in the same place basically except it's come on across there and you can see the gap there where it's busted and pulled out A couple we got a piece there that we're gonna have to weld in there. So what we'll do is this is a a ring that I've been machining on that we're gonna use as a backup on here. That was a piece of uh, 10 by 14 mechanical tubing that was just a there was a thin piece left and I've got it faced and turned or board should I say where it'll it'll register it'll register on there all right and I'm gonna drill a hole pattern in this so that it will bolt up to that flange and it'll line up all the it'll line up all the pieces there too you know not this section here everything will line up and I'll have to grind this off grind all that away and we're gonna we're gonna braze this and I'll braze it back together and I'll probably do some uh, being on this side as well and braze all this in after this other side's brazed and then set this up and actually face this and turn that register back on there we'll also have to do a little bit of being here and make sure that these cracks are brazed up as well it's a pretty extensive repair but I think we can tackle it. So let's go get started on it. I've got the uh, ring finished machine and the holes drilled. And one of these holes, believe it, believe it's this one right here. This hole right here is on a different, the um, it's on a different division. It's off the true bolt circle. So this one hole is off. There's probably a reason why they did that. Uh, it depends on where it, it goes into the housing. Maybe they had to move it to one side or the other. So I left this hole out, which is no big deal. But all the other ones line up on a true bolt circle. Okay. Alright. And then what this will allow me to do is uh, hold this nice and flat and everything together once I'm ready to do my welding so I'll just use some uh, bolts and nuts like this and pull everything up snug and be able to do our brazing on the one side there we'll do all of our brazing here so th it's possible that uh, once I get this uh, ground here, everything ground and relieved and ready to braze, I might have to go in on the steel and relieve that corner a little bit so that the brass doesn't go down and try to stick to it. I'm not sure yet. We'll, we'll figure that out once we get to it. So next step is this. All right, we're going to go ahead and get this ground apart. And most of this is already cracked. There's one section right here that is still connected so I'm gonna come in here with the cutoff wheel and go ahead and cut that let's see yeah right in here right across here I might have to grind a little bit out with a grinding wheel but we'll get that off and we'll just kind of knock this piece off and then we'll start our uh, our uh, other grinding to remove all this nickel from here
see if it'll happen. here a little bit. this we'll get all this weld that's been on here we'll get all that removed and out of the way and kind of it'll be kind of V'd out I'm gonna put a V along this edge here also I'm gonna try to leave just enough there for maybe it to line up I don't know yet but I'm wanting to try to V out the inside of it also we'll put some weld on the inside there as well so I'll show you a little bit along the way though okay of the fitment that we pre-started on it getting one side ground and you can see where I need to come in here now and and remove this weld bead that was put on there before and then all this will be filled up with uh, with brass when we braze it just like here we'll fill all this in right there and I'll probably have to just go back in there and uh, and drill those holes back out this piece is going to be a little bit more challenge on this end because we need to actually grind this one off see where it's cracked there it actually made a new crack out here where it broke so we'll take that apart and grind all that and we'll have you know be a whole little piece right there that'll get filled in Okay, I think I got most of the grinding done that I want to do. Everything beat out. The uh, the crack was a little deceiving on the way the how it cracked. You know, I did this grinding right here, and then realized that the crack actually run up underneath here, underneath that flange. So I had to do a little more grinding on both sides of this here and here. But um, I'm definitely glad that I made that ring. So we'll use that to our advantage and get it bolted on here. And then these should just uh, float right there where they need to bolt up to and we've also got another little piece right here that we've got to get fitted in there and I'll have to use a uh, C-clamp to hold that in place but everything will be pulled up flat against the, uh, the machine side right there and we'll just fill all that in with brazing rod okay fill all this in on the, the, the holes on the end just weld it all up nice and solid and then uh, we'll go back in there and line them holes up and re-drill them. Now before I go brazing this, I'll, I'm also going to bead blast this entire piece. Make sure it's uh, dry and clean and there's no paint or anything on it. And uh, this piece here, I'll make sure it's clean too. There's no oil still on it from the machine. I'm just going to get a couple of these bolts in here and then I'm going to check them other parts there.
that's lining up pretty good there. Like a little jigsaw puzzle. That one I'll have to use a clamp here. There it is. So I'm gonna move back inside with everything and get this bead blasted clean and get set up for brazing. All right, we got it all bolted together where I need it. So we're gonna do, do a uh, preheat. I got my uh, one set of torches set up for uh, heating uh, using the uh, metaline. So we're gonna get it preheated get it nice and hot and then I'm going to switch over to the uh, to the other rig and we'll we'll braze it. I got my brazing rods ready so let's go. Okay, we got it preheated. This is a 350 temp stick and it's melting pretty fast on there. So we should be um, maybe around 400 or so. Clean the, uh, the ground area again where we're gonna braze it with a wire wheel and we're ready to go.
think I got her uh, raised in there pretty well for now what I'm gonna go do is, is uh, go ahead and take these two bolts off and fill in these in these in uh, grind outs there get those finished up or anything on the back. the ends. Oh, no. Let's see what's next here. I'm going to go ahead and get the little grinder with the carbide burr and, and be out the the little cracks there and go ahead and fill those in and I'm going to run one bead all the way down the this little crack here where it didn't fully fill it in and then after that we'll be able to let it cool down and we'll set this up in the lathe and machine this off clean it up
think we got all of our brazing done now. We got our bead all the way across that back, filled in that crack there. We're gonna let it cool. Then we'll go to lay it with it. I think it did pretty good once I dress it up a little bit, you know, clean the uh, flux off and a couple of little droops there. I think it'll be, it'll look pretty good.